Success in today's dairy industry revolves around efficiency and technology. Michael Pates visited a robotic rotary dairy in Lisbon, North Dakota. That's only the second of its kind in the U.S. and only one of four in North America. The Qual family has been involved in dairy in Ransom County since the late 1940s. Last year, brothers Alan and Rodney Qual, along with their sons, pulled the trigger on a massive technological upgrade. It's kind of a legacy move on our part. It's a big move, but I, I feel like it's, you know, we've done several budgets and I, I think it's, it should work. The upgrade included a huge state-of-the-art freestall barn for about a thousand cows. Neck tags constantly monitor how much each cow moves and eats. Two indoor weather stations control nearly a hundred fans that generate a six mile per hour wind at the middle of the barn. When it's running properly, it's ex air exchanging the whole building in a minute and a half. The 320 by 365 foot barn also features robotic feed pushers and alley scrapers. Since it moves so slow, they're not phased by it at all. So each pen has, is completely cleaned every two hours. But the centerpiece of the upgrade is a robotic rotary dairy parlor, just the second of its kind in the United States. And efficiency is what it's all about. And this is, to us, appears to be a very efficient system. We're getting a cow on and off every 10 seconds based on what we're doing right now. The robotic rotary, which has 60 stalls, makes a full rotation every nine minutes and can milk up to 250 cows an hour twice a day. Almost 90% were getting on by themselves within four milkings. And now they're milking each pen in about 45 minutes. Within four milkings, we're down to almost full speed. When the cow comes in, it identifies her here with her neck transponder so the operator can come in and take a look at the screen and know what's happening in the rotary for each cow that's on here. Once in a stall, the robots go to work. In the front of each one of these arms, there's a 3D digital camera that views the teats of the cow hanging down from the udder. It remembers what the height is each time that cow comes in. A pleasant surprise how well it attaches on cows that might not have a perfect udder. So it'll never over milk a teat because they're all coming off individually off the cow. So your udder health is excellent. As she is milking out, the color of that piece of that pie with her number on changes color to that darker green as she reaches her average. Most cows are finished milking in five to six minutes. It turns to this gray color once she's totally done. A standard rotary parlor this size would require four employees. The robotic parlor only needs one. It's such a labor intensive occupation with a shortage of labor. This is just something that looked uh, very promising for the future. There's so many different uh, opportunities and flexibility to what, what we're doing milking cows now because of this parlor that's, that's been a, a real huge benefit. The operation produces more than 10,000 gallons of milk every day. In Lisbon, North Dakota, this is Mikkel Pates for Ag Week. The Qualls can now milk 1,100 cows in five and a half hours with only two or three people.